Welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. Today we're doing something a little different. Um, but uh, first, we're going to kind of go in what is new with the studio. I'm not going to kick the mic stand here. Um, what is new? Oh, hey, we got the Fried, our, uh, Friedenstein. Friedenstein? Not sure exactly how to pronounce that. But we got that uh, installed in the rack. You may have seen a video we did about uh, the overview of like its features. It's kind of an okay video. Um, there's not much to show you on it. And, you know, it's got inputs and outputs and a couple knobs. It's really about it. Uh, we did order a SSL UVEQ for our master bus chain. Uh, it'll get here sometime next month because of some issues when it comes to uh, um, shipping and just, you know, demand of things nowadays. Anyways, uh, we also got... Um, Oh, we got in our first EQ after that, which is a Lindell uh, PX, PEX 500. It's a Pultec EQ. So we're going to do some shootouts of that and how that works with uh, various instruments. Um, bought it for kick drum, but we're going to see what it does with various instruments. But as we get on with today, we are going to uh, have um, this guy here, this Telecaster, and our... Um, Ignator, Rebel 30 back there. Um, you may have seen us do a video, or seen me, say us, me, uh, do a video on its features. It's a little bit of an overview. Uh, but today, we want to show you um, how it sounds. Um, and basically, you know, it's got a clean channel and, a no, and, a, and then like a dirty channel, overdrive it says. So we're going to see how that works. Um, by starting with our clean channel here. Um, we got the volume up and... That's our clean channel. Um, basically, you know, it's just a, a clean tube sound. You know, it's, it's very clean. This is a Telecaster. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a clean channel. I got a volume on it at about just a little under noon. Um, which is not quite half on its, and then everything else is just straight up, you know, just straight at zero, um, bass and treble, and that's it, that's all you really get control, you get a, a bright and a tight, bright does not work well with the Telecaster, just gonna let you know that. Um, and then uh, we'll go into the dirty channel by clicking our foot switch here, and... It's, it's gain is just a little past noon. Um, it's got a bass that's about three quarters of the way up. Middle and treble are about somewhere in the middle. I might roll, just roll my treble off. Um, volume, which is like your output for the gain channel. Um, it's about set where I have the volume for the clean. It might be a little louder just because of the nature of this guy. Um, and then I've got the tube mix for it because it's got two different tubes, output tubes, EL84, 6L6. I've got it set to where we kind of got an even 50-50 of each. So as I go on here, this is what they sound like. We'll start with clean and I'll go back and forth here for you um, just so you can kind of hear the difference. So we'll start with clean. And mind you, there's no cabinet involved here. It's coming straight out of the XLR output on the back of the cabinet, or back of the head here. Um, we were going to maybe do it with a cabinet, but I kind of wanted to hear, kind of show you what the head itself, because you can plug it in any cabinet, and that changes the sound a little bit of, of how it sounds. Um, overall, um, 
that's kind of the sound of this of this head. You get a clean and a dirty. Um, I might do some more um, more here as we go, but that's kind of the thing. Um, like I said, we got. A clean So anyways, um, just kind of gets a good feel about what you can get with it. You can get different tones. Um, we could spend days here playing with it and showing you how um, this amp could do all sorts of different things. Um, since it has the EL84s, you do get a little Vox styling out of it. Not quite the Vox because it doesn't have the Alnico Blue or, you know, but you could buy an Alnico Blue cabinet and throw that in, you know, a cabinet with an Alnico Blue and throw it on there and have a little bit of a Vox sound. It's not quite Vox because there's not quite that mid-range that the Vox has. Um, but, you know, you get two different channels, which is kind of nice. You know, you can plan, I plan on gigging with this one a little more than with my Fender um, just because it's a head. It's it's that big, you know, you, you can carry it anywhere. Where the Vo you know, the other amps, my Vox and my Fender here, they're a little bigger and are a little heavier um, to carry around to gigs. Anyways, um, I'm trying not to kick that mic anymore. Anyways, uh, I say that a lot. We'd like to, you know, thank everyone that's watched this. Thank everybody who's watched our other videos. Like and subscribe. You can hit the bell. Um, and it'll let you know when we've got other videos, other things that are coming out. Um, probably going to release this video sometime soon. Anyways, um, we've, you know, really appreciative of those who have watched our other videos. Um, and, you know, hit the like and subscribe. Can't iterate that enough. Um, but yeah, that's kind of today's video. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, we... Uh, See you next time.